Welcome to another video from Excellent Cat. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will explain a user-defined function in Excel that can be used to split data into rows or columns on the basis of the specified delimiter. Let's see how to do that. See this list of items which are separated by commas. To split this data into different columns on the basis of this delimiter, I mean comma, go to the developer tab, Visual Basic. To insert a new module, right click, insert, module, function, We'll name this function as splitter, open parenthesis. Now the variables for the function, data, a string, comma, separator, a string, close parenthesis, a string, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Own error. Resume next splitter equal split function. Split function is a VBA function which can be used to split data on the basis of a delimiter. Now the first argument for split function which is the data we want to split. Data comma second argument is delimiter. Here separator is the variable for referring delimiter. Separator. Close parenthesis. On error. Go to zero. So the function name is splitter. Close the visual basic editor. We'll select this cell. Equal. Splitter. See the function we just created, splitter is listed here. Select the function. Now the first argument of the function, which is the data we want to split. Select the cell containing data, comma. Second argument is delimiter. Here comma is the delimiter, double quotes, comma, double quotes. Close parenthesis. And when I press the enter key, the data in this cell, that is the cell B3, is built into five different cells. Copy the formula into the downward cells. We'll add a new item here. See the function updated for that change. One more example. Here the separator is hyphen equal splitter. Select the data comma double quotes hyphen double quotes close parenthesis and press the enter key copy the formula into the downward cells the same function combined with transpose function can be used to split data into different rows to split this data into different rows we'll select this cell equal transpose function splitter select the data comma hyphen is the delimiter double quotes hyphen double quotes close parenthesis and press the enter key yes now copy the formula into the adjacent cells now an important thing to note the spin feature of Excel is only available to the Office 365 users. So if you are using some other version of Excel that doesn't have spill feature and the dynamic array formulas, here is another version of the same function. Go to the Visual Basic Editor. We'll copy this code. Paste it here. We'll rename the function as splitter2. comma we need one more variable here that is item a string 
close parenthesis a string splitter to open parenthesis item minus one close parenthesis splitter to is our second function close the visual basic editor to split this data equal splitter see splitter 2 is listed here select the function first argument of the function data select the data comma comma is the delimiter double quotes comma double quotes in this second function splitter 2 we have to define one more argument which is the index number of the item to be returned here i want the first item comma 1 close parenthesis and press the enter key function returned first item from the list and if i want the third item from the list in the function 3 instead of 1 press the enter key and the function returned the third item from the list copy the formula into the downward cells items present in the third position are returned by the function now how to use this second function for splitting data into different columns we'll delete this data equal splitter to select the data in the formula bar log the column index of the reference comma delimiter double quotes comma double quotes comma columns function select the cell containing data make the cell reference absolute full colon once again select the cell containing data close parenthesis and once again close parenthesis press the enter key function return the first item now copy this formula into the cells on right side once again copy the formula into the downward cells let's see how to split data into different rows using the same function equal splitter to select the cell containing data log the row index of the cell reference comma hyphen is the delimiter double quotes hyphen double quotes comma rows function open parenthesis select the cell containing data make the cell reference absolute full colon once again select the cell containing data close parenthesis once again close parenthesis and press the enter key copy the formula into the downward cells then into the cells on right side i hope you will find this video useful for feedback and discussion please make use of the comment section and those who are visiting this channel for the first time subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases thanks for watching wish you a great day